That is my uplift standing desk, and I just needed to stand for a little bit. Okay, so I am doing a quick vlog here. I was reading through the tech news as I am wont to do. And HPE Discover 2019 is taking place in Las Vegas this week. And I was catching up on what was going on with HPE. HPE had a bunch of new announcements, but there's one I wanted to talk about in particular. And that's the addition of another new product within their hyperconverged lineup, Nimble DHCI. So HPE bought uh, HCI platform provider SimpliVity back in January of 2017. And they also sell uh, Nutanix's platform on top of their hardware. So they already have two hyperconverged platforms. And back in, I think it was March of 2017, they announced the acquisition of Nimble Storage. Now Nimble is a next generation storage platform, but they're not a hyperconverged platform. So what they've done is they've taken the Nimble Storage platform, added some ProLiant servers and a network switch, and they are calling this their DHCI Nimble platform. Just what we need, more acronyms. So what is DHCI? Well, the D in DHCI stands for disaggregated. Now, disaggregated is a term I use quite often. Disaggregation is happening in a lot of areas of the technology space. And what really what disaggregation is, is taking something and separating it into its individual component parts. For example, one could disaggregate a platform, separating the software portion from the hardware portion, making it more open and standardized so that you could run it on whichever vendor's platform you choose. And we see this a lot happening now. And this idea is really important in the networking space, for example. Rather than having a monolithic networking appliance, the networking software is removed from the hardware layer and it's made to operate in a more open and standard way so that you can choose your hardware vendor. So they take this a step further by separating out the networking protocols into independent functions so that you don't need to run, monitor, and support capabilities that you don't use. It can simplify some of the basic networking that you're doing, and it can make your environment more secure by reducing the amount of code and protocols that are running on your devices. But in this case, we're talking about convergence, which is sort of the opposite of disaggregation. With convergence, you put everything together to simplify things, one throat to choke, so to speak. Back in the old days, like way back when, like three years ago, before there were hyperconverged systems, there were converged systems. That was the V blocks, the flex pods, the flash stacks. These were a set of hardware and software components that were designed to interoperate well. This is designed to take some of the complexity out of architecting the system and operating the system. This was often at the expense of flexibility. So HCI came in and took this one step further by putting this all onto one consolidated platform. But one of the challenges with these hyperconverged platforms is that storage and compute needs scale at different levels. So what you started to see was compute only nodes and storage only nodes, which was sort of taking a step back from hyperconverged. So what do you get when you disaggregate a hyperconverged infrastructure solution? That would be a converged system, wouldn't it? Or you could go really far back in time, like five years ago, and we just call that a single vendor solution. Now, this is not to disparage the product. Solutions like this can be really effective and they can reduce complexity in your environment. But to me, this is a product that hasn't so much been engineered as it has been created by marketing. And there's a lot of companies that do this. EMC, for example, is really good at this. And that's because they have a great marketing team. And it's great that they can create these markets to shine a light on capabilities that businesses didn't know existed. But when we're talking about the hype around yet another new acronym, I think sometimes it's important to just take a step back and think about what are the problems you're trying to solve. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.